Hi guys and welcome to this quick Photoshop tutorial. Now in this video I'm going to be covering the new rounded rectangle feature in Photoshop CC or Photoshop Creative Cloud, however you want to call it. Basically this feature allows you to add cool like rounded edges to your rectangles which us Photoshop users have had to manually create for years and now finally they've added it into the new edition of Photoshop which is obviously a great feature. Uh, it's great for making social network icons or any kind of shaped objects that you want to kind of pop out on your image that you want to give it a bit of shape and a bit of, you know, interesting features to. So it's a really good addition. So let's just jump straight into the tutorial. Okay, so to access your properties of your shape, you need to have the properties option here on your sidebar. Now, if you don't see it there, then go to Windows and Properties and it will show up, obviously. And to adjust them, all you need to do is adjust these kind of, these little um, scroller things here there's not really a scroller bar or anything you just need to hover over and you can adjust right and left and it will let you adjust your shape and you can adjust it to have you like really you can go as curved as you can see as you want or really straight and that's really good because obviously you can have these sort of curved edges like so but then not have but then have pointed edges as well so you can make these really interesting shapes and it lets you completely customize this however you like there's no kind of limit at all uh, let me just set these back to zero. If you want to link them, the your corners, so they all adjust at the same time, you can do that by clicking on this little link icon here. And obviously to unlink them, you do the same thing. So obviously there you can make like a perfect circle, which is obviously helpful. And then if you want to, I suppose you can unlink it and then start adjusting different angles to create these really cool shapes. Uh, it's a really cool feature. I'm actually really impressed with this as an add-on for the new edition. You know, usually when they upgrade, there's not really that kind of new feature they're putting in. Whereas this will help a lot of people with their workflow and everything. Now, another feature that you can actually do as well with this is just the width and the height of your shape without actually um, damaging at all your your shape layer or destructing it at all. It just works how it should do, I suppose. Um, which is obviously really good, of course, again, because that's what you want on your shape. Uh, you can also add a stroke if you like. Uh, I don't really like adding strokes to many of my stuff, much of my stuff, so uh, that's probably not a feature I'm going to be using much. But you can add like a dotted stroke or a dash stroke, and that's a pretty cool little feature you get. And obviously, you can change the, the, the width of it and how strong it is. Um, I'll put that back to zero. So that's basically it for this like feature, but there is one thing I want to show you. Here you get a numeric value bar where you can copy the, the the numeric data and then paste it onto another rectangle. So you can actually copy across after pressing enter your shape. So you can have these shapes continually, you know, adjusting. And that's a really cool feature that you can have. Because obviously if you're making multiple shapes, even though that's not actually copied exactly the same, I'm not really sure why. Uh, it's not. I don't think it's copied the the width and the height value, but it's copied the uh, but it's copied the main curvature. So obviously, if as long as you don't mess around with the width and the height, uh, you can adjust your corners and it'll copy and paste those across to another shape. Say if you're making social network icons or or some kind of shape with text on, you can just copy that across and make the same object again, which I think is obviously a really good feature. And I'll show you again quickly. So you can just copy this. And then paste it onto this one. These ones will actually be the same because I've not messed with the heights. So as you can see, you can just copy those across. And that's really quick workflow method. There's no kind of stalling around trying to figure out different ways of making them look exactly the same. Like we used to have to do with previous editions of Photoshop. So that's basically it for this tutorial. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to like the video. It helps a lot on my channel. Be sure to comment as well if you've got any questions or any more tutorials you want me to follow up with. Uh, if you have any tutorial ideas, remember to subscribe as more tutorials will be coming on the way. As well as speed arts and tech reviews and unboxing. So make sure you are subscribed for those upcoming videos. Thank you for watching guys and I will see you guys in another video.